We're here at the Scan Performance event. With me is Paul from BenchTech. Welcome back to Hexus. Thank you very much. So, Paul, just to recap to our, our viewers, you know, your job is to overclock performance hardware. You work with manufacturers, just see the maximum maximum speed you can get out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Without and, sort of breaking it, hopefully. And how often do you break things? Not often these days. Well, that's, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. So let's talk about the last Intel platform. You know, it had the cold bug Sandy Bridge, you know. Yep. So we couldn't do any LN2 stuff. How did it work with uh, with with air and water? What what's the uh, maximum overclock you saw? Well, I was only using sort of H100. Um, there was some guys that used a little bit of liquid nitrogen, um, but as you said, it sort of ha it was very temperamental to cold. Um, so I I just used the H100 and was able to overclock that to around about 5.5 gigahertz, okay. you know, over its stock speed, which was quite impressive, really. So that's what a two gig overclock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, as that platform's obviously expiring and, and Ivy Bridge is now out but not out and you can't buy it yet, yeah. um, you've had a bit of chance to play with it. What are you, what are you seeing so far in, in overclockability? Um, it's pretty decent so far. Um, I've, I've tested the 3570, which is obviously the uh, four-threaded CPU. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with the eight-threaded one yet. Um, but already I've shown today uh, scan computers um, for the guests that have come along um, 5,000 megahertz. Now, when we take into consideration the power consumption, yeah, and the memory bandwidth of, you know, I've been showing speeds 2,600 megahertz there, um, we're seeing around about a 90% increase. So to put that into terms, basically a Sandy Bridge system would need to be running at around about 5,400, 5,500 megahertz mm. for that 5,000 that we're seeing from Ivory Bridge, which is consuming less power. So it's pretty good so far. But what are you using for cooling, meaning we've seen some, um, some on stuff? On that, that one, I, I've just used the H80, okay. which is the smaller Corsair. Mm. It's a single red um, uh, radiator system, water cooling, um, in a hot environment down there. So I've yet to really push the system. You know, obviously I have to do these demonstrations. I don't want to break the equipment before I come and do mm -hmm. the demonstration. So, you know, I've been relatively mild, but we've seen here, you know, fully stress loaded, prime 95, five gigahertz, temperatures 67C, um, consuming less energy than the Sandy Bridge system. Yeah, all's looking very, very good. How much power are you putting into them at the moment for that overclock? Um, I uh, That was around about 1.35 volts. Crikey. Okay. Yeah, so pretty impressive. Okay, cool. Thank you for the update on Ivy Bridge and Overclock. And will you keep us up to date on your endeavours over the next sort of month or so? Playing Absolutely. I, I plan to sort of test this system with a bit of liquid nitrogen because I heard they're doing pretty well. Okay. There you have it from Paul at BenchTech, who overclocks the components to the max. He's going to keep us up to date on how he gets on with LN2 with the Ivy Bridge platform. But so far, he's seen some pretty good numbers out of it.